Here we go. It's time for Prusa Slicer, and I have it opened right here. And one of the things I'm going to confirm that I have configured is 0.25 for the layer height and 0.25 for the first layer height. And I can see that right there and right there. So we are ready to go. Let's load in a model. We'll take this one right here. There it is. It's great. Now we just need to add two more. And uh, we don't want to duplicate. That's not the way we want to do this. We don't want to add another instance. Uh, Control Z. Yes. We don't want to add another instance. What we want to do is hit the right mouse button here and say add part and then load. So what we're going to do is add another one of those. And it's right there. And then we're going to go up here, add part, load. And we're going to pick it again. So now we have the three parts on the build plate and they are aligned. <laughs> it's fantastic. All we have to do now is specify where all of these parts need to exist and then we're good to go. So over here, click on this, that's to move, right? And we wanna pull this one up. Okay, move, there we go. So you can see down here, it's got 10.94 on Z or Z with that little icon. If I hit that, it's gonna drop it back down to the bed. That's what that does, but we wanna bring it up. And now that we have this number here, we can change it. So we wanna change it to 5.25. Our layer height and our space needs to be 0.25. And I want to have it to be the second one start 0.25 above the next model. With the model being five millimeters tall, it means 5.25 it'll start above that model. So now let's click this one. <laughs> and then it's a little confusing. There we go. There we go. So over here on the right, you have to pick the right things before you move them on the left. And then since my head's out of the way, you can see it now. Let's do a multiple. So 5.25. The next one would be 10.5. There we go. So this is great. We're looking at the back of the build plate. And if we take a look, we can see just these, these little gaps in between the layers. That's great. Well, now at this point, we can slice it, right? Wrong. So this is what happens. Prusa Slicer has detected empty layers. It does not allow empty layers. Here's the trick. And I learned this from uh, Joe Kasha over at 3D Maker Noob. What you wanna do is go over here Hit the right mouse button and say add support enforcer cylinder. It's going to put it over here, the back of the build plate. Just move it over here just a little bit and then go over to this button so that you can scale it. And don't use these corner ones because it scales it, uh, it, um, it locks the scale factors. And so they all go at once. And so just take this, this side one and we're just, we're just going to create a really tiny little pipe looking thing. Just kind of like that. I'll even zoom in so we can see it. There it is, just a, just a tiny little pipe. Just a little pipe. Now remember, this isn't a model, this is a support enforcer. So with it selected, go over to move, and then we're just gonna move it right, right there. Right there. And that's literally it. So what's happening, Prusa Slicer is detecting an empty layer, and the way around that is to put in a support enforcer and then up here, make sure supports are set for, for support enforcers only. Now, if I hit slice, it should work just fine. And if we take a look right there, we can see that these tiny little, so according to this support material interface and this green, and this is green, we can see it. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. So as we start to bring it up, we can see, we can see it starts to put that there. And we are at uh, five. So let's see, okay, my face is not in the way, but right above my head, you can see we're at layer five. The next one is 501, 525, right? So we've got that gap, and now we should be at 5.5. That's when the next one starts. And remember, this is at the top of the layer. So at the very bottom layer one, 0.25, that, oh shoot, my head's in the way again. So remember, at the bottom, here we go, 0.25. As we go up, as we go up, it, it counts at the top of the layer, the, the top, right? Because that extrusion is that tall. So that's where it's getting that number from. So when it says 5.5, where that next one is starting, that's where the top of it is. And the bottom of it is 0.25 lower at, at 5.25. And so that's, that's how that works. But that's how you do it in Prusa Slicer.
That's how you stack a model, and that's how you add a support enforcer in between the model to create that that kind of that 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 ability for it to not have a blank layer. That's all this is. That's all this is. That's it. You can export your G code. You could be good to go, and that's how you do this in Prusa Slicer. I know it's a bit more complicated, but that's how you stack prints in Prusa Slicer. But don't forget, you can look at Cura right here. You can look at Idea Maker right here. You can look at Simplify 3D right here, or just go to the end and find out if it worked. Or here, or here, or here, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there.